friends. How are you today? I hope you're having a great day. It is sunny here today. We're having a great day. The snow is melting. Today is the 3rd of May and we just had a monster snowstorm and we got like three feet of snow. So I'm really happy the sun is out today and it is wonderful. So I had a idea. I was so excited about this and I thought, okay, so I went to the Dollar Tree. I know I talk about the Dollar Tree all the time. But if you think that you can't afford to do art, you need to go to the Dollar Tree because they have some awesome stuff there. I am not paid by the Dollar Tree. They don't even know I exist other than when I go there and I hand them money. Um, but I went and I saw they have these beautiful stamps. Beautiful, 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 beautiful clear stamps. I've tried out several of them and they're awesome. I went and I bought $12 worth of them. Well, more than that because now it's a dollar twenty-five each. But I bought 12 different stamps because they have so many. And I'm like, what in the world? Usually they only have stickers and a couple of stamps here and there. These are really nice, really nice. So I have an idea. They also have a couple of uh, different dies for your die cutting machine and um i was like okay so this flower can you see all this i'm looking it's so bright in here there's so much sunshine i can't see what's even in my screen <laughs> what a horrible predicament huh to have so much sun that you can't even see your screen okay so i got i found these and i found this and i found this and then i found this little turtle and so my backyard I've got a lot of sea things in there because I really like turtles, if you haven't noticed already. I am the painting turtle, and I try to have a turtle in view on most of my videos because I have so many, and I thought that would be a cute thing. Well, this time I decided I didn't need one because we're painting a turtle. <laughs> I'm so excited. He's so cute. But, yes, again, I found this at the Dollar Tree. I'm hanging in my backyard. Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to paint these yet or not. But, isn't it just adorable? And then I'm going to spray it with some, some of the uh, outside shellac stuff and have it where it would just sit on my fence. Along with my other great big turtle I have on my fence. And some seafaring thingamajobbers. But I was thinking, um, we'll paint this all one color and then we'll paint the turtle. And then uh, maybe die cut this. Uh, I'm not sure what color yet. And put it in the corners. And then maybe in a couple of corners, maybe this one or this one. Also, I was thinking that this flower would be really good on here. And maybe this one, this leaf, this fl the flowers in this one, I don't think about that birds really, but um, the flowers would be really nice on this. So that's what I'm thinking. I'm excited. So let's just get busy. Okay. So once again, I have another one of these uh, Royal... Langnickel. It's just a very inexpensive paintbrush that I found somewhere. Maybe at Walmart. I don't know. Used it many times. This one I was gifted by a friend. Um, it's just a small round brush. No big deal. But uh, yeah, I thought maybe we'd use those. And I'm going to use some of these paints. Um... I haven't decided exactly how this is going to go yet, but turtles, everyone sees turtles as green. They're not. They're, especially sea turtles are very many colors. Land turtles are often brown, and a lot of them have red in them as well. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to paint the whole thing blue first, and then we'll see where we go from there. Yeah. So I'm just going to get comfortable, move things out of the way a little bit, because this might get messy. Okay, by the magic of YouTube, I have a paper underneath now. Ha ha ha. So, i just give these little guys a little shaky shake, and we're just going to squirt some paint right on here, because I'm not doing anything exciting about, like, mixing nothing like that right now. I'm just going to, it doesn't even matter if I get it on the turtle. I just want the entire background to be a color. 
I want all of it to be a color and then we'll go from there. And I like the blue and with that little bit of blue on there, it seems like now we're going to have to uh, paint those little wooden balls. So that's okay. But then we're just going to cover the whole thing. How is it where you live? Do you have sun? Do you have some wonderful flowers growing? I know it's May and most places have flowers by now. I uh, grew up in Texas and we were lucky if we had snow once or twice a year. Just seeing about that turtle felt like he was moving. Um, and then, I mean, I was born up here, but I didn't, I never was, I never experienced a, a winter up here until I moved up here many years ago. And I'm like, oh my goodness, this is so much, this is so much winter. <laughs> I mean, I, I love it up here. It's beautiful. It's a wonderful place. Um, I get tired of the winter. And a lot of people I know do. A lot of people, even people who really love winter, are like, you know what? Sometimes it just goes on and on and on and on and on. And you're like, can you quit? <laughs> can you stop? We have... Excuse me a second. Okay, well that was hilarious because I suddenly heard something moving and I'm like, what in the world? <laughs> I thought, did a critter get in my house? I do not, oh, I remember we're talking about snow, but um, yeah, it was a bag. It was a bag from the Dollar Tree because I had purchased some of those little lights that go out in your yard. And they're just sitting there waiting for the snow to go away so I can put them outside. See how they work. And it was moving ever so slightly. I'm like, that's not nice. Cut it out, man. But anyway, yeah, I grew up in Texas and I miss it. I miss it all the time. I think the place that you grew up, even though I was born in Michigan, uh, we came up here on vacation a lot. Um, it didn't really, it didn't really like, it wasn't like home, even when we moved up here. I mean, I love it now. It's beautiful. I love the summer. I love the, the spring. I love fall. I love all those times. And winter's great first thing. <laughs> it just goes on and on and on and on. And it never stops. Even my daughter who loves winter. She loves the snow. She loves how beautiful everything looks all clean and beautiful. Even she gets bored with it. She's like, dude, it's a lot. Ready for some summer and some pretty little flowers. You want some flowers? Any of you people from Texas, send me some warm weather. Not too warm. It's one of the things I really do like about this place because it, the, the summers are not, well, they can be really, really hot, but they're not as hot as it is in Texas. It's a different kind of heat down there. You guys know. Up here, it's like humidity and 90 and it feels like 7,000, like you're right on the sun. Okay, so I pretty much have this all covered. And we're going to let this dry for a little while, see what comes of it, and then we're going to paint our sweet little turtle and the edges. So, I will let this dry, and I'll be back to you. Okay, it's semi-dry, and I thought that it would put this really dark cardinal red on the inside. We'll see if this paintbrush is small enough to get it down in there. Again, it doesn't matter if it gets around the edges because um, we're going to cover the turtle with other colors. So I'm going to just go inside here and try to get this dark, dark red down inside there as best as I can. 
I'm not trying to get it on the outside, but if it does, I'm not going to be all mad about it because it's okay. So we're going to cover it up anyway. But I thought it would be easier to get a color down inside there, something nice and dark. Um, there's lots of blue right there. I think we're going to get that out of there. <clears throat> Get yourself a little toothpick or whatever. That's why it's nice to have paper underneath you because then you can just wipe that out. Also, another great thing to have around when you're doing any kind of art project is some Q-tips. Which you can also get at the Dollar Tree. They're really good for for doing all kinds of art. Get you some cheap little Q-tips. I know that's a name brand. I don't think it's a big deal to say that, but um, tipped cotton swabs. There we go. That's what we'll call them. Get yourself some tipped cotton swabs. Cotton swab tips. Whatever. Anyway, you know, to the normal people, that saying one little word is not a big deal. Anywho, I'm just going to keep doing this until we have it all covered, and then we'll go on to the next part. I'm really excited about this. As soon as I saw it, I was like, oh my goodness, I have visions in my head. Well... I've had it for a couple weeks now, did other things, and the visions kind of went away. Because I was like, what was I going to do with that? But, I think it's going to turn out fantastic. And, the custom framer in me is coming out because it's like matchy match to things that are in the backyard. Or not. Do we want it to stand alone, have its own say, or do we want it to match? Anyway, I think that looks pretty good right now. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of that, and I will be right back. Okay, I made a decision. I'm going to use some Kelly Green and some Lime Green for the base background the base of my turtle I'm not going to worry about which one I pick up I'm going to kind of smear them around a little bit and see what happens and try not to get it down in there with the red so I'm just going to use a little on my brush um, I don't think it matters if I get a lot of it around the edges. That's just going to be tedious. I think we're just going to focus on the turtle himself. And any red spots, we're going to give it a little extra zhuzh of the dark green. But I think he or she is going to be fantastic. How do you tell the difference between a girl tor tortoise, not tortoise, a uh, sea turtle, a girl sea turtle and a boy sea turtle. Whoops. Whoops, whoops, whoops. That's okay. Happy accidents, right? It's our guy. Happy accidents. He's so fantastic. Okay, we'll fix that in a minute. So, we're just going to give our little turtle some color. Try not to get it all over. This is where you have to have steady hands. Oh man, if I was standing doing this, I know a lot of artists that I follow and they stand up and do a lot of their art and I'm like, how on earth? How in the world do you just stand there and do that? Like I said, a lot of sea turtles have a lot of red in them. 
my oldest daughter used to have a red-eared slider in her room. Um, that was so long ago. I always looked for those red ears. I'm like, what in the world? But anyway. I have only had one turtle as a pet. And it lasted all of maybe a couple hours. Maybe. Because it bit me. We found it outside. And he or she was a little snapping turtle. And a little fart bit me. So we put him back on where we found him. I was like, I do not need anybody who's going to bite me. He was wild. I don't think he wanted to come in the house. I think he was like, dude, I was perfectly happy and my family's out there waiting for me. <laughs> so we let him go. So right now I'm just kind of padding to give it a little texture. Because turtles' shells are not 100% smooth. And I think that this is a good thing. If you have a nice flat brush, this would be easy to do. I'm going to have to get my little brush out and get rid of some of that, that stuff I got on the edges. And like I said, it's fine always fixable I like it just like this I love it I think that looks good okay so I'm gonna let that dry and fix up those edges and I'll be back hello again so I was just going to show you what I've been up to so I was taking some of this mountain forest and just kind of, now that I got you on the camera, it won't let me get it out. There you go. Just kind of giving it a little bit of a, um, kind of a shadow here and there with a little Q-tip. And uh, I'll just dab in some of this darker around just to give it a little depth, you know, just, just a little something. And making sure that it looks kind of kind of like a turtle, you know. We already have the red in there, so I'm not I'm really liking the green. I think this is really good. So we got the lime green and the Kelly green. Fun fact, Kelly green was one of my school colors growing up. Shout out to anybody from Breckenridge who's watching my video. Breckenridge, Texas, that is. When I was young, some well-meaning gentleman asked where I was from, and I said, Breckenridge in Texas. And he's like, are you sure you don't mean Colorado? And I'm like, yes. I can think, think I kind of know where, where I'm from. Yes, Breckenridge, Texas. Big shout out to anybody there. And Breckenridge, Colorado. Shout out to you guys too. So I think I like that. Oops, I did it again. <sighs> what in the world is happening every so often? And as long as you wait till it's nice and dry, that little paint right there, you can pick up a little bit of the blue and give it a little, if it's not dry, then it tries to blend. But if it's nice and dry, then it's like it never even happened. Um, also, right in here, I got a little bit of green. And I tried to do that and the green smeared. I let it dry and fix it again. I think it looks pretty good. 
Okay, I'm liking it just like that. Always make sure you wash off your paint brushes because that paint, especially acrylic paint, will get in there and it will just gum up the everything. Okay, so I did cut out some of these cute little dies from the Dollar Tree. They worked like a charm. And these I cut out of uh, a napkin, if you can believe it. I mean, this cool napkin. If I would have thunk, I could have tried to take the turtle off and put this underneath. But man, this is it's a really cool napkin. I still may use some more of that. I'm not sure. But I thought maybe we could do a little bit of kind of like a decoupage thing. I don't know. I'm still thinking on that one. But I did cut out some of these and I thought I thought that they'd be in the corner. I'm not sure now. Because I don't see anywhere that they're gonna actually fit. Unless we do it like like this. I don't know. I just don't know. I'm just playing now. This is this is the process. You have to play around with everything that you have and see what works and what doesn't work. Um, mm -hmm. Might be better if I if I get out the um, the cute little stamp and see where that would be first, and then add the leaves in. And these are the insides of those leaves. I thought that would be kind of cool. Might be good if we put this up here in this corner. See, look at that. How cool is that? And then we can have these right here, some little extras. I mean, you still can cut these down, make them into other things. They don't have to be this. It can be other. We can cut them. I wonder if that would fit. It might look like it's in his tail. That would be better over here, I think. Okay, let's try this. Leaves. I don't want it to look too awkward. I don't want it to look weird. I think I liked it better over here. A little. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I might do a couple extra leaves. But then I have these little cutie pies. And, um... I don't know if I have those leaves. Those almost look like a... What do you call it? Those almost look like a coffee bean. <laughs> I like coffee. If you haven't, if you don't know me, you might not know that. But I really like coffee. Oh, we're still recording. I was like, we're we still recording. Um, we have that under there. We can have this maybe coming from behind him. Maybe not. Maybe this one, because this one's cut that way. That's because the, the, to me, these look like seaweed. You know? I don't know. But I like the leaves. Where they are. I like those. I'm not sure about those little guys. Maybe one of these down here. And one of these coming out from behind here, maybe. And one of these coming out from behind this one. If we maybe. Well, that'll tie it all together, huh? Wow. I'm starting to like it. I'm liking this. This is good. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay. So I got out my stamps. Um my clear stamps from the Dollar Tree. Um, once again, clear stamps from the Dollar Tree. I use the flowers and the leaf. So that's what I wanted to use with this one today. Um, the only problem, which is not a problem, is where to place them. And I'm going to have to use my finger, which is fine. I have an idea. I'm going to put these on the side for right now. I'm not sure about those yet. And they're cute. I'm just not sure about them. So I think I'm going to definitely put this one 
This one can be up by his face and this one can be on by his side. The other one I'm not sure of yet. So that's the only problem with this is something like this because you're, um, you're using a stamp, stamp pad. And this is a Ranger Archival. So it will stay. Once it's dry, it will stay where I put it. I really think I need to re-wet it. Okay. Here goes nothing, right? I'm just going to squish it down there. I think it's going to be on the tip of that leaf, which is fine. What do we have? Oh, it works! It works! It works! It works! Look at that! I love it! That's fantastic! Okay, and then we'll try this pretty little one. Do, 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 do. I'm telling you, these are nice little stamps. For $1.25 for a package of stamps, I think anybody, anybody, I mean, they have ink there too. I don't know how good the ink is, but um, anybody could use this stuff and get the same results. I mean, it doesn't really have to look like the turtle is underwater. Even though it's blue. Blue is just because that's what I thought would be nice with the green and the red. <gasps> look at that. So nice. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. A lot, a lot. Yep, 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 yep. Those are cute. <laughs> and then um, I was thinking maybe I would water down a little bit of that red. I'm going to... I'm gonna move this little guy for just like a like a split second. It's just, they're such tiny little stamps, it's hard to pick them up. You know what I mean? They're just hard to pick up and then place it where you want it. Okay. Cause I want that one to look like it's coming from under, not on top of the leaf. <laughs> that poor leaf has a little bit of Something right on it. I may have to move those. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like it, I like it, I like it. Okay. Perfect. Perfect to me. Maybe not to you, but it is perfect to me. I know a lot of people don't like that right now. It's fine. To me, I think it's perfect. Okay. Um, and we can fix that after. No biggie. And I'm going to make a little leaf because I want to. Um, see which way it goes. And we're going to put a leaf coming down here. Pick it up. Awesome. Fantastic. Okay, I'm going to try something else here. Um... You can do a little thing like this and make another leaf. Uh -uh. Did you see how easily that was? Holy cow, it just like ripped perfect. And I'm going to make this one right here. And it's going to look like that leaf is underneath the other leaf, which, if this works, cool. <laughs> oh my goodness, it worked. Look at that. <laughs> okay, that makes me happy. That makes me happy. That makes me happy. Okay, cool. And I think um, I don't want to overdo it, really. I'm thinking maybe these guys could be, just be like right here now. Just to kind of center, you know. I think that looks nice. That's really nice. That's very, very nice. And then I was thinking... Maybe a couple of these uh, around the edges, just very faintly, like, yep, 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 that's fancy, that's fancy, I like it, just to decorate it up a little bit, oh yeah, oh my goodness, <gasps> seriously, for a dollar and a quarter, a dollar and a quarter. Holy cow. 
this one we're going to have it going like across. Yeah. Yeah, I like this. I like it. I like it a lot. A lot, a lot. Yep. One of this and just going off the side here. Yep. Mm hmm. Yes, sir, Bob. Yes, sir. I like it. I'm going to try a little bit of flower on one of these sides, too. Again, other than the paint, this is entirely made with things I got from the Dollar Tree. Now, that didn't quite work the way I wanted it to. So, I mean, after everything's worked perfectly, one little thing doesn't. It's not that bad, I don't think. I'm going to push the back end of it. Oh, my goodness. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, and then we're going to put one down here, and then I think I'm going to be done. Yep. Oh my goodness, yes. Look at that. <laughs> I said I was done. I'm not even close. <laughs> Where's that little piece of paper that works so well? I have the little flower peeking out from behind the, the leaf. Yeah, a little bit of a flower. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. I don't want that one now. I just inked it up for nothing. Maybe I'll use those later for something. But how about this? Up in the corner. I like that idea. Yeah. Oh, I can get the balls out of the way. That's cool. I think that's gonna... Yep, just a hint. I like it. Okay. Now I'm going to glue down these guys and clean up my, dot, my uh, stamps and I'll be right back. Okay, I got everything glued down. Now I'm gonna take my little paintbrush and I'm going to water down just a little bit of that red just to give it a hint in some of those flowers. And I can do that because the ink is uh, archival. So I want it to be really watered down, like really watered down, almost like, um, almost like watercolor, but it's still... It's not. It's not watercolor. This is acrylic. Sorry, I'm trying not to hurt something. <laughs> I have a hard time focusing on my words. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that, just a hint of that pink in some of these little flowers. Maybe some a little darker than others. I don't know. We'll see how it works. How it works. Yeah. Um, I know these flowers can be very vibrant and tropical, but I have this color red in the turtle, so that's why I chose it. Because I don't want too many different colors going on, right? So I'm just going to... Like I said, give it a little bit of a little color. I have glue all over me. Oh my goodness. Sometimes when you're doing art, 
you end up wearing more of it than you put out. And that's okay. That is okay, man. Not a problem. And I'm not being too particular. I'm just painting them up a little bit. Just to give them a little bit of color. Just so that they're just not the, um, the stamps, you know? I want people to go in my backyard and see this and be like, Wow! Where did you get that? Well, I bought it at the Dollar Tree, but I judged it up myself. Yeah, that's what I want people to think. Where in the world did you get that? I want one. And then you can say, I can make you one. Because you can. You can do this just like I can. And I would love to see you do this. I want you to try it. I've been checking. I haven't seen anybody try anything yet. So I'm waiting. I am waiting for someone to try one of my ideas. You don't have to make it exact. You can make it your own. Whatever floats your boat, man. Whatever makes you look at it and go, Ooh, yeah, I see what she did there. But I, I found this little giraffe that I would rather paint. Or a baby. Or a kitty cat. Or whatever. That would be awesome. Whatever your little heart desires. You see what I'm, t what I'm going at? Look at how cute that is. I love that. Okay, now I'm also going to uh, water down some of this, these little greens. Just a little bit of this one, a little bit of that one. A little bit of darker green, a little bit of this darker green. And yes, I just have my greens on a piece of paper. On the under paper. It's like, it's fine. It doesn't hurt anything. And I'm just mixing them on this really old table that I have. And right now, there are two woodpeckers eating at my feeder. Isn't that cool? They had a rough last few days. I know there's lots of people who don't really like woodpeckers. I love woodpeckers. These aren't like the big ones. These are like cute little ones. Little teeny tiny ones. And they peck at the ground. They're so cute. I just love them. They're so cute. Again, it doesn't matter if you mess up a little. It's okie dokie. You know, one more leaf to do up here. I think that's the last one. Look at that. Oh, no, I almost missed two right here in the bottom. Oh my goodness. Not paying attention. But like I said, they all have the same colors. I'm trying to keep the same colors in the whole thing so that it looks unified. I don't see any more leaves. Okay, I think that is good. Okay, okay, I am going to let this dry and then I'll be back. So I decided I'm going to paint the balls, the little wooden balls, with just a very watered down version of the red. Very, very watered down. And these little wooden things are just soaking this up, which... I really like that. It looks like it looks like it was meant to be this way. And I guess it was because this is the way I'm doing it. It is going to be a tedious thing. It's going to be um not really time consuming, but kinda they wiggle. <laughs> they don't they're not like cooperating as much as you know a flat surface would but it's fine and someone said you can just take those off 
and then re-staple it back in there again. But I'm thinking, no, this is fine. I'm thinking this would be a really good project for kids during the summer. It's inexpensive. You could get a lot of these little wooden things um, if you don't have a Dollar Tree in your area, which most people do. You probably have a Walmart or a Dollar General or Family Dollar. They all have those little wooden whatevers. Little things to paint. So you could get those. You could get some very inexpensive paints and I know there's a lot of people out there who started watercolors by watering down acrylic I've seen them talk about it if I knew exactly who it was right now I would put the video on but um I don't remember who said it I think I think many people have said it and I know I used to water down the acrylic paint when I painted bottles and use it with glue and whatever so yeah you could easily get this stuff uh, get some inexpensive watercolor paper or some of these little wooden things and let your kids grandkids daycare kids whatever let them have at it man when we were in the daycare we always had something to paint kids love to paint and it takes them forever so then it's like a really nice time consumer especially if you're like waiting for nap time or whatever or trying to distract them from always wanting to eat something Okay, so I'm going to do the rest of this off camera because why make you sit there and watch it? I just wanted to show you that while I was away from the camera, I cut this a little to just go right on those little petals and put a little leaf behind. And then I did the same thing right there and put a little leaf behind. I think that just made it. I think that just, instead of just floating flowers... It kind of gave them purpose. I love that. Absolutely love it. I think this has turned out fan flippantastic. I love the red little little wooden balls. I'm not sure what the, they're not. Um, whatever. Anyway, they're little wooden balls. I love that. I love the turtle. I love how it turned out. I really want you guys to try these things, all of them. I want to see your projects, okay? I want you to try it. I want you to show me your projects. I want to see it. And I want you to sign it. I want you to put your signature on it. I'm going to put mine right here, this little bitty tiny one. This is a Micron 005. This is like super tiny. I'll put mine right there. And other than shellacking it, I think it's done. I'm going to leave the backside wooden, and I absolutely love it. I hope you like this. I hope you learned something. I'm going to shellac it, and I'll be back. Okay, it is finished. I took it outside. I hit it with a little bit of helmsman indoor outdoor furniture spar urethane so i can put it out on my fence in the sunshine and it will be good it'll be good to go and i also did the back it's still a little wet a little smelly but anyway it is done i want you to try something okay this was an entire other than these little paints that I got at the Walmart, which were like 50, 60 cents a piece, um, everything else was done from stuff from the Dollar Tree. So that means a dollar twenty-five, a dollar twenty-five. Everything was dollar twenty-five. Even the glue, tacky glue bottle I bought, came from the Dollar Tree. 
dollar twenty five for every little thing. Dollar twenty five for the dies, for the stamps, for the whole entire piece, the little wooden framed turtle that I painted. You can do these. And then you have you have the dies if you have a die cutting machine. Or they have paint. They have all these things. So you would only have to make a one stop shop. You could get the ink and stamps right there at the Dollar Tree. Again, I am not paid by the Dollar Tree to do this. I saw it. I thought it was awesome. And I wanted to share my vision with you. So I'm going to leave you with that. I want you to try this. I want you to tag me at the painting turtle or the painting turtle 28. So just put a hashtag on your picture like if you're gonna share it on Facebook in the message that you the description of what you're writing what you're putting put in there hashtag the painting turtle and then I will be able to find it and see it and I would love to see all the beautiful things you come up with so give me a like if you enjoyed this video and share it with a friend Give me a comment. I'd love to hear what you think about it. Um, yeah. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It doesn't cost you a thing to, to subscribe or to hit that bell notification button because that will make sure that anytime I put up a new video, you are one of the first ones to know. So, again, try it out. I would love to see what you come up with. Have a great day. Much love and peace to you all. God bless and see you in the next video.